Hey everyone, Anindu here, and today I'm going to show you Gen Next or the Generation Next ROM for Galaxy Grand 2. So, uh, this ROM is uh, developed by Bali Boxer, who is a very famous developer in Galaxy Grand 1 as well. And uh, this ROM, this Generation Next ROM, is the first and the only ROM, only custom ROM available for Galaxy Grand 2. And this ROM is pre rooted, that means, uh, suppose your phone is not rooted and you want to uh, root your phone just to install a custom ROM then you don't need to root your phone uh, the way I showed you in the other day just install this ROM and your phone will automatically get gets rooted okay uh, so this is a pre-rooted ROM as installing this ROM will give you a root access but keep in mind guys as uh, there is no CWM recovery on the Galaxy Grand 2 so uh, you will be stuck with uh, the stock recovery but your phone will be rooted and uh, you will be able to access all the application which requires root access so uh, starting with the ROM this is the uh, main home screen and uh, here we here we can see that the icons looks just like Galaxy S5 even the notification bar as well okay and uh, this is the main menu main menu is divided into uh, six six rows in five columns and here we have some pre-installed applications like action memo and then a busy box app settings call pop out then um, this galaxy plus gear fit manager then greenify was also pre-installed next a uh, multi window plus this music player icon has been changed note to hidden settings then uh, pop out chrome root checker no root checker have been installed s note s planner all this uh, samsung applications then uh, here we have two settings um, I don't know what's this for but I'll get back to you in a while uh, next we have this tinted status bar super user video video uh, Viper for Android FX then when I'm exposed exposed installer YouTube add away X battery meter all these things so uh, here uh, if you see so this is one setting and here we have normal settings and the other settings which you get is this one here we have very less amount of information on the options see uh, one two three four five six and here also six seven eight whereas over here we have lots of op lots of options so that's the difference I don't know what's what's there to put two settings anyways uh, this ROM is very good I've been using this ROM for past 10 to 11 days about two weeks and it's re really great now let me show you the settings panel so this is the settings panel and here we have Galaxy S5 kind of tabbed interface with the color just like S5 and the background is white with the with the uh, I mean the icons and the icons and the fonts just look looks like s5 so here we have normal settings nothing so special except the fact that we have galaxy s5 icons and we have lots of motions as well let me show you on the about menu on the about menu here on the android version we find it's running on android version 4.3 which is jelly bin and the uh, baseband is uaml3 and the build number of this ROM is C1. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you uh, the all the pre-rooted app, pre-installed application. So uh, see here we have a pre-installed application like Action Memo. It's the normal memo, but see over here Action Memo when I start, it says unfortunately Action Memo has stopped means you can't use action memo what's there to put on this ROM if you can't use it 
next we have called pop out this is a feature like say a call is coming and uh, you will you will not see the number you will see only this blue color icon just don't tap on it and accept or reject I don't think it's that kind of a good feature it's pretty annoying to um, it's really hard to accept call with this call power that's why I've disabled it next we have this geofit manager means uh, with this application you can collect your galaxy gear so uh, but I don't have a galaxy gear so I can test it next yeah greenify works fine greenify works really great no problem with that next you have multi window plus multi window mode for window both all this enable we would be surprised next we have no two hidden settings so here are some of the settings which you can enable over here and all of them are currently off some of them are on next oh god ok next we have this pop up chrome it's just a small um, browser which you can use it like this it's a quick it's just a quick browser quite useful okay then we have root checker congratulations your device has root access guys uh, here we have s note as well but let me tell you this s note also doesn't work there are lots of application on this ROM which uh, the users will see and will think that oh great but most of them doesn't work that see S node also doesn't work thankfully uh, thankfully S planner works next I don't know what's this tinted status bar I've heard that a tinted status bar is a status bar where the background color and the status bar color matches and in the, but I don't know how to use this application I don't know really see unfortunately tinted status bar also stopped most of the application crashes the pre-installed ones I don't know why the developer has put this type of application which is currently not supported on this phone thankfully this this one is working when I'm exposed okay so uh, that's the applications next I'm gonna show you that this phone's uh, this this phone dialer takes a lot of time to load let me just show you see how much time it took to just load same with the contacts well contacts just loaded very fast now you know let me show you the camera so guys uh, this is the camera interface it's just a stock Samsung Galaxy Grand 2 camera interface nothing so special about it and let me show you the battery status see I've been using this phone for uh, 22 hours and uh, the battery is really keeping up quite good I've ran uh, I've ran 
uh, quadrant standard on this ROM and it gave me a score of 8104 and uh, same with the Android benchmark I ran Android benchmark earlier and uh, it gave me a score of 17,090 which is quite good for this phone of this caliber so I've been using this ROM for uh, past few days and uh, there are few cons which I've noticed is that most of the preloaded application doesn't work and uh, I don't know why the developer has put those application which doesn't work next uh, suppose there is a contract uh, suppose there are lots of contacts on your phone and uh, and uh, some of and you want to call a person so whenever you dial a number then uh, that contact name will be just gone in the dialer you, you will just see only the number and you won't be able to see the contact name and same case with the uh, when, a, you, when you are receiving a call and uh, suppose that number is already saved on your contact list but it will not show the name it will just only show you the number okay so that's a little bug but there are uh, fixes for this bug uh like yesterday a uh, user named anmol told me that uh, to solve the to solve that bug you need to at first delete at first you need to transfer all the contacts to your sd card and delete all of the all the contacts from your uh, internal me memory and again you need to copy all the contacts from sd card to internal me me memory then that problem gets resolved so i haven't tried it but I guess that might work and same with the messaging application as well uh, you will only see the number and not the contact name which is wrong so that's it for this video guys uh, if you like this video then please click on like button and I'll be coming up with another video where I'll be showing you how to install this ROM to install this ROM let me just tell you uh, at first you need to download the ROM it's in MD5 format and you need to install this ROM via, via in download mode via Odin and uh, I'll be coming out to show you how to install this ROM it's very easy just install it via if you like when you're installing a stock ROM anyways that's it for this video guys if you like this video then please click on like button and thanks for watching this is on in the take care